or cosine inverse and uh, excuse me, start to see. Cosine inverse like that will work in web work. But will we use the same restriction that we did for our sine function? Will we be able to go from negative pi over two to pi over two? No, because that's not going to match in terms of being passing the horizontal line test. So I don't get to use this one. That's kind of crummy. I'm going to have to erase it down here too. Given what I said about how we try to pick the piece that we keep, as much positive x-axis as possible and we want to uh, include x equals zero, what piece should we keep? Between zero, which is here, that's good, and pi, which is here. Do we hit everything between those two? Yep, we get all the way from the high to the low, good. So we can go, and do I include them both? Yeah. So zero to pi. What about the range of, so when I restrict it, so here's the restricted one. What's the range? <coughs> Again, the same range because those are all the outputs of my cosine function. That's good. We wanted to hit them all. So for my cosine inverse function, what's its domain? Same as it was for the sine inverse. It was the range of my restricted cosine function. What is the range of my inverse cosine function? Zero to pi. Zero to pi. It matches the restricted domain. Now, here is the picture of it when I reflect it over the line y equals x. What quadrants does this come out in? In other words, what angles am I going to, so here's the output. Which quadrants am I going to hit on my unit circle when I have to spit out angle answers? One and two. What? One and two. One and two. How do I get to one and two? Do I do it in the positive direction, in the negative direction, positive. do a little bit of both? Positive. All positive. So I get to do this all in the positive direction. For most people, the cosine inverse is the easiest one because everything is nice, it's in a positive direction, life is good. Nothing funny. Now, for the last trig function. Ready? Obviously my tangent function doesn't pass the horizontal line test. So, I'm gonna, when I'm talking about its inverse, I'm going to have to restrict it. I'm going to have to restrict it just like I did the rest of it. I want to include as much of uh, the positive x-axis as possible. I want to hit all the possible output values, and I want to include x equals 1. Oh, by the way, our tan, tan inverse. In web work, you can type it in this way if you want. I personally find it easier to type arc tan because then I don't have to go find that little carrot thing above the web 6. Wherever it is, I don't have to go find it. I don't do well in the numbers. What should I keep? Negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, that looks good. Alright, so I'm going to go from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Do I include both of those? No. Why not? Yeah, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 are places where vertical asymptotes occur. If I plug negative pi over 2 into my tangent function, I get out an answer that says, what did your calculator say? Error, because it's undefined. Same for pi over 2. What's the range? Yeah. Yeah, think about my outputs of my tangent function. It goes from negative infinity to infinity. So the range is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. Now for my tangent inverse, what's going to be the domain? Yeah, it matches the range of the original function, so negative infinity to infinity. And what's going to be the range? Negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. 
not including either of them. Now, here's what my beautiful tangent function looks like when I reflect it over the line y equals x and get the tangent inverse. By the way, you notice this looks a little better, a little curvier, mainly because I went all the way out to 10 and down to negative 10 because, you know, just the straight line's not very appealing. The curve looks really cool, did not it? I like the curve. Now, on your calculator, let's say you need to do these. You should have buttons above your sine button that says sine inverse, and above your cosine button that says cosine inverse, and above your tangent button that says tangent inverse. So if you actually just have to spit one out, you can do that. Chances are good we won't let you use those buttons. Because for the most part, most part, we expect exact answers, and those will not spit out exact answers for you. I know some of you have already tried to use them. I believe you tried on 